What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry the garage is a freaking mess. Um, I got tons of projects going on. I'm trying to rebuild my propane grill. Actually just replacing some of the old rusty stuff inside there. Got lots of stuff for the backyard. You know it's summer right now and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the RSX head. I just want to teach you guys really quickly how to upgrade your valve springs if you're planning on turboing your car. In the last video, you saw that I purchased this tool from Amazon. This thing is garbage. How you're supposed to use this is to line these holes up like this you basically screw this in sorry I'm doing this all one-handed basically you screw this in you put this bolt down this bolt compresses on this and this pushes it's supposed to push down on the valve spring so you can take the keepers out. I was able to do it with one of them, but the quality was so bad, it's all bent out of shape. And you can see it left tons of metal shavings in there and it actually gouged my head right here. So we went with a similar product, but this time it's made in the USA. This is made by HPT. It's for the K20, K24, and the F20, F22, which is the S2000. I'm gonna set the camera down, show you guys how much easier it will be to remove the old valve springs and basically replace the valve springs with maybe dual valve springs so you can the head can handle boost better all right let's figure out this new tool basically it comes with the same mounting points You can see that this is of much higher quality. It's machined versus this. Set this tool up just like the other one. And this is locked in with hex keys. You want to make sure they're relatively evenly torqued. And the same process, you can do the same process with the motor, with the head still on the motor. Now you want to figure out what size this bolt is. And it's a 14. So my ratchet, a small extension on it. And I wanna line this up.
Okay, they've made contact. And now I'm gonna slowly start torquing this thing down. And you can see that the keepers have popped out. So you wanna use a flathead screwdriver And there you go, there is one keeper. I actually, the other keeper came off the other time. So now you got the keepers out. You wanna untighten this bolt. And there you have it. You see this one is still intact still maintaining its shape and this one was all bent so after we've removed the keeper valve spring comes out we can take this whole assembly off Push out the old valve. And there we go. So what I'm actually doing is taking all these valves out so that I can bring the head to the machine shop. So I'm prepping this block to get it ported, to get new exhaust uh, intake and exhaust valve guides, valves, retainers, uh, seats, keepers, springs, everything. So the valve will be completely upgraded. I'm removing the stock valves at the moment. And if you want to install new valves on your head without replacing the stock valves, if you want to replace the stock valve springs without replacing the valves themselves, you can do this process. You wanna get this tool. That's the part number right there. You wanna get this tool. You can do this job on the car without the head being removed. You just have to remove the valve cover. I'll, just, I'll show you again how easy this is. Secure the head to the existing bolts. Put the seat down. Guide the bolt onto the top of the seat. Make sure nothing's rubbing. Take your 14 millimeter socket, start bringing the bolt down. Keeper. Keeper. So basically you want to do this to all the valve springs to get all the valve springs out and to install a valve spring, a uh, dual valve spring in preparation for boost, it would basically be the same thing. You want to first install the retainers and then the valve seat and, this, and the valve seat is just basically pushed on. Once you install the valve seat. You just install the valve with another retainer, push it down with this tool. Once the valve itself starts poking out, you put the keepers on and you untighten it. It's basically the reverse. 
Then you will have your K20A2 head ready for boost. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.